Welcome to the Word of Faith coming to you from PBC Northgate happening at Avira Loaka. We are glad you are tuned in. Psalms 19, the scriptures say that the Word of God is sweeter than honey and more precious than gold. So imagine you are in the best place hearing and taking in the Word of God. Romans 10, the scriptures say that the Corinthians, the Bereans were more noble, they used to double check the Word. So I pray that you'll have time later uh, to also engage. I'm reading scripture, meditation, and prayer. Genesis chapter 15. After this, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Don't be afraid, Abram. I'm your shield, your very great reward. But Abram said, Sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless? And the one who will inherit my estate is the years of Damascus. And Abram said, You've given me no children, so a servant in my household will be my heir. And the word of the Lord came to him. This man will not be your hair, but a son who is your flesh and blood will be your hair. He took him outside and said, look up at the sky and count the stars. If indeed you can count them. Then he said to him, so shall your offspring be. Father, we thank you for your word, which speaks things are not as if they are. You said to Abraham, look up, count the stars. And uh, if you can count them, that's how many your descendants will be. Even though by this time, Abraham didn't even have uh, any child. This is what God can do. And I want to just meditate about God being my exceedingly great reward. Number one, he tells Abram, don't be afraid. I don't know whether you're aware, but fear is the opposite of faith. In uh, Joshua chapter one, more than three, four times, Joshua is told, don't be afraid. He's told, be courageous. He's told, meditate on the word of God. Be careful to do everything written in it. And if you do, you'll prosper in everything you do. Psalms chapter 1, he says, keep away from wicked, scornful, and, and, and people who mock. But meditate on the word of God every day, and you'll be careful to prosper in everything you do. Bible says, Joseph, wherever he went, prison, Potiphar's house, Paris, he prospered because he kept dear the word of the Lord. Job said, I have considered your word my necessary food. This is something, a passion that uh, Abraham had, and he was not afraid. You can't fear God and then fear the things that God has created. And uh, today is my prayer that you will fear this God. The Bible says in Proverbs that uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So fear only God, fear no other situation, because fear is not of the, of the Lord. He says in Timothy that I have not given you a spirit of fear, I have given you a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. God said, even though now you don't have a child to inherit you, you'll be having nations coming from you. It was a prophecy of the future, but because God washes over his word to perform it, it became true in the life of Sarah and the life of Abram. He said, look up to the skies. I have tried to count the stars on a clear night out in the village. I tell you, there are so many stars shining with different kinds of illumination. And I tell you, you can't keep count. It's so many of them. Other passages, you say, like this, the sand, the, 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 the sand in the sea. So much, so much that God can do. And even now, even speaking from an, another dimension, you could be broke, but God will give you resources that are uncountable. The Bible says that in Genesis 13, that Abraham was rich in property, rich in livestock, rich in bank accounts, rich in investment. God can do things that today seem impossible because he's the God with whom nothing is impossible. Because of what he had told Abraham, he entered with him into a covenant of blood. This is uh, Genesis 15, 9 to 11. And uh, a smoking pot, God came like a smoking torch in the night, in the evening. But he told Abraham, before you experience a great blessing, there'll be a time of great tribulation. So if you're going through a season of darkness, just continue to prophesy and speak out that God is my exceedingly great reward. There is no way that God will mature you without taking you through a process of pain, without making sure the fabric is steady so that uh, you can anchor the blessings that he's giving you. And so whatever you're going through, just say is a season because God is my exceedingly great reward. And he'll speak into things that are not as if they are to the glory of his name. Father, we thank you because your word is true. More true than everything we know. The Bible says everything will go away, but not even a dot will be moved from the word of God because you are washing over it and you want it to become true in our lives. We thank you for the encouragement of Abraham. 
He didn't have a hair. He was worried. He said, don't be afraid. I am your exceedingly great reward. And I'll bless you. Nations will come from you. And when you look in his sight, uh, you are faithful to your promise. So today I also say that the promise of God in your life, they are yes and amen in Christ. May the Lord bless you as you continue to ingest the word of God, which is life indeed. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in.